Welcome to a series of lectures on cardiac anatomy, physiology, and pathology. In this section, we'll discuss about coronary anatomy. The coronary arteries originate from the aortic sinus, the region of the aorta just above the aortic valve. The right coronary artery supplies the right ventricle, as well as the posterior portion of the interventricular septum in most people. When the RCA supplies the posterior heart, it is known as right dominance. The right coronary artery passes anteriorly to the right of the pulmonary artery root, coursing posteriorly through the sulcus between the right atrium and the right ventricle. The sinoatrial artery originates from the right coronary artery to supply the sinoatrial node. Acute thrombus in the proximal RCA may result in failure to generate regular sinus rhythm. The right marginal artery originates from the right coronary artery and serves as the main supply to the right ventricle. In most people, the RCA also gives rise to the posterior descending artery or the PDA. This artery courses between the two ventricles posteriorly and supplies the posterior region of the interventricular septum as well as some of the posterior right and left ventricles. When the RCA gives rise to the PDA, as it does in about 80% of people, this is known as right dominance. The two main branches of the left coronary artery, the left anterior descending artery, and the left circumflex artery. The left coronary artery passes anteriorly to the left of the pulmonary artery root and then divides into its two major branches about halfway around the left atrium. Because the course of the LCA is so short, it is typically not considered to have its own proper supply domains. The left anterior descending artery descends between the right and left ventricle to supply the anterior interventricular septum, the more left aspects of the right ventricle, and the majority of the left ventricle. The left circumflex artery courses posteriorly between the left atrium and the left ventricle to supply the more posterior aspects of the left ventricle. In some people, about 20%, the left circumflex artery gives rise to the posterior descending artery or the PDA, which supplies the posterior region of the interventricular septum, as well as some of the posterior segments of the right and left ventricles. Now this is termed as left dominance. Blood flow through the coronary arteries is biphasic with greater flow occurring during diastole. The systolic ventricular pressure is far greater on the left than on the right such that the left ventricle is essentially perfused during diastole only.